Hi everyone, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is being filmed on my lunch break. So if I speak very fast, that's why I get pulled up on speaking fast quite a lot. But that's just how I talk in real life. I am quite a fast speaker, so sorry. I'll try and rein it in. Today's video is another what's in my video and this time it's in my least favourite rooms of the house. So military marriage corps are not well renowned for their good bathrooms. So we're going to go over a look at what's in our bathroom cabinets in our teeny tiny bathrooms. So starting through in our delightful uh, shower bathroom I guess our toilet is separate. Um, maybe we'll just look at the shower first actually. So we have a very cheap body what do you call it? Body wash that Rob tends to use. A Remington razor thing that I love. It's the one with the really big moisturizing head things. Then I have my sulfate free shampoo I'm using for my extensions at the moment. So it's the Wella Elements range renewing shampoo and conditioner that I got from my hairdresser. And then this shower wash that I got in a gift set from Soap and Glory and it's really nice. So I just keep using it. Then down here, please excuse my disgusting grout on my bathroom. I need to get them to come redo it. And um, we have what we use all the time, Johnson's Bedtime Baby Wash or you'll see any form of Johnson's is what we use nearly all the time. That's Isla's shampoo, which I do actually use on Lachlan as well. It's the shiny drops range, really nice. And then the kids had a bit of an eczema flare up um, a couple of weeks ago, so we were using this, but we're not using it at the moment. Then on to my little, uh, I guess my, I don't know, I don't know what you call that, bathroom shelf. This hand soap's lovely. It's from a brand called Scandinavis. Scandinavis. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Really lovely, smells lovely. They do candles and reeds and all sorts as well. Glossier, my babes, absolutely love this cleanser. It is my favorite, favorite cleanser. So yeah, always have that. And then this solution stuff I started using recently. Sorry, the lighting's really bad in here. Try and improve the look of my skin and it's working so far. So quite happy with that. Um, I don't know where my toothbrush is. Must be charging. This is Isla's toothbrush. It's an Oral-B electric one. This is Lacken's little Aquafresh one that I picked up in the supermarket. Not fussy about them. Then this, I think, is a really random old toothbrush of Robert's that he doesn't use because he has an electric toothbrush now. Then we have got some Colgate Healthy Clean. I just kind of go for what's on offer. Some Colgate Smiles for three to five, which is Isla's. And then more Colgate Smiles, but baby, zero to two. Oh and my contact lenses. Then onto the fun stuff. This is gonna be hard because this cupboard door is a bit of a pain. But yeah, this is just our little under the sink cabinet thing. I need to get a new one and also excuse the makeshift. Um, I've tried to make it so it's a shelf so I could fit more stuff on it. So yeah, up here we have got, I might bring it out because this is really annoying me and I'm not gonna be able to hold it in film. So I might bring stuff out. First up in here, I've got these Glossier. They're literally just cotton pads, nothing particularly exciting. Two bags full of nail polishes. This front one's full of gel polishes and the other one's full of normal polishes. I'll show you in a minute, but I can say I rarely ever use them because I go and get my nails Stuff. And here there's just a mixture of polishes, lots of Rimmel, lots of Barry M, um, I don't know, some Schumit I must have picked up in a hotel, lovely. Essie, that's another lovely brand. This I picked up in a really random tiny little pharmacy in the north of Scotland once for like taking your nail polish off. And it's just a big sponge full of um, nail polish solutions. You don't need any pads, so great for travelling. And yeah, that's about it in there really. Then in here we've got some... I don't know, probably acetone stuff to soak off gel nails. And then this is gel polish. I do have um, a light, but I just don't have the time. But some nice brands in there. Candy Coat's good. And what else have I got? I think it's just Candy Coat, actually. I used to have something else, but I don't know where they are. Also got some random nail brushes that I never use. I've recently come across this eye makeup remover. I bought it on ASOS and it's so good. It's almost like a jelly and it smells lovely. And I wear a lot of mascara, but this stuff, Bio Essence Miracle Bio Water, really, really good. My contact lens solution, I used to get the expensive ones from opticians, but I find this Tesco one's actually better. It's much more comfortable for my eyes. I used to use this water quite a lot, actually, after I already cleansed my face to then sort of deep cleanse it. But now I have that Glossier Solution stuff. I'm not using it as much, hence why it's in there and not up there. I love this Glossier Body Hero moisturizer. It's so good. It almost has like a kind of iridescent sheen to it, but it doesn't make your skin look shiny. It just looks nice and glowy. Very moisturising, lovely stuff. Then we've got some mouthwash, just because last time I was at the dentist, I got told to like look after my gums better. So, yep, got some of that. Then in here is just a few bits and bobs, mainly from a gift set I got at Christmas, but I really, really like all this stuff, especially the scrub. These two scrubs are really good from Soap and Glory. That's like a body butter, which is nice, like if you've had a bath, but not sort of day-to-day -day stuff. That um, well-used Body Shop Moroccan body clay is really nice. And then back there is some more stuff from Soap and Glory, some body milk. 
Right, so down here I've tried to make it into sections. This little bit at the front's a couple of self-tanning things. That's just a couple of Rob's bits. Then at the back there, there's loads of extra hand soaps and hand creams and moisturizers and stuff. Then over here is mainly shampoos. And yeah, just random stuff in the middle there. So over here, self-tan wise, I've just found this stuff recently and I absolutely love it. Isle of Paradise, it's like a spray. It goes on so well, really, really nice. Gives you a nice tan and a mitt. Can't go wrong with a mitt, that was just from Boots. Some Rimmel Instant Tan, this just reminds me of nights out at uni, but yeah, still use that sometimes. Saint Tropez Dark, I do like Saint Tropez. I haven't used this in a while, so I'll probably have to check it before I use it again in case it's gone off. And yeah, just a couple of Rob's bits, some deodorant, some hair stuff, which I don't think he likes. I think he's in the market for some other stuff. And yeah, a gift set thing he's got in here which he hasn't used yet. This usually lives in my bedroom, so I'm not sure how it's snuck in here, but it's a Jo Malone body cream that my mum got me just after I had lack and that I really like in peony and blush suede. Lovely scent. Then, like I said at the back here, well, first of all, we have this little cutie, which is actually my dad's that he left by mistake, some baby shampoo, but I'm keeping it for him. Then at the back here, some Molten Brown hand soap and body lotion. That scent is really nice, the eucalyptus one from Molten Brown. Then some White Company bits. So we've got the Peony hand wash hand nail creams. So that's great. And then another hand cream thing, this time the Seychelles one, which is a really nice scent too. And in the middle here, we've got some, this is just an extra thing for my tap when the other one's all done. This foot file thing, rubbish, doesn't work. Don't know why it's still here. Also a foot file thing, which is all right actually. And then this makeup brush cleansing matte from a brand called Sigma. Really, really good. Love this. Even do my beauty blenders and all sorts in this. Very handy. And over here we have some more Johnson stuff. We've got two in one shampoo and conditioner, which I did like I was using till I got the other stuff, which I think is better, which is this stuff here. So the shampoo's in the shower and then this one is in here for some unknown reason. This is the conditioner, really nice. Johnson's body lotion smells so good. Then I've got some random shampoo options from when I was trying to find some sulfate free shampoo. So I don't actually think this is fully sulfate free or it hasn't not got the sulfate I need in it, but it's really nice shampoo, smells lovely. Conditioner there as well. And then some Aveeno sulfate free shampoo in the background there. Let's turn it around so I don't have to take it out. Pure Renewal shampoo. It was good, it was all right, but it's just not as good as the stuff I've got now. So it's just the backup. And then a random sun cream. My sun cream actually lives under my bed in a bag, so don't know how he snuck out. Onto this cabinet here. So in here, let's make sure that doesn't fall down. It's more like first aidy bits. So I've got plasters there. I've got some TCP liquid. And then this stuff, which I really rate if you have kids who fall over and hurt themselves. This Dettol antiseptic spray. I've got a bit of a phobia about just things getting infected. So love that stuff. Then up here is just all our spare toothbrush heads and then this random thing that I used to use for deep cleansing my face, but I might throw that out now because it's quite old. Then over in here, we have some random cotton buds. We have some Bumble and Bumble, is that it? Yeah, Bumble and Bumble spray, which I use on holidays. So not used that in a while. This Olaplex stuff is so good. Really good if you've got hair like mine, which doesn't want to grow and is generally just not very thick in that. This stuff's lovely. It's a treatment. And I think there's a pair of tweezers in here. Pair of tweezers. Then down here, more of my stuff. I've started taking hair vitamins again, because like I just mentioned, my hair is rubbish. Then we also have this deodorant, which I use, which is good. It's the Sure Maximum Protect. Then here we have some random exfoliating powder I picked up in store on holiday. This uh, Matcha Luminous Juice Skin Mist, really lovely stuff. This Spirituals Miracle Scrub for your hand that my mum got me a while back, which just, oh, it makes your hands so soft, really good stuff. This I've just started using recently, but I'm really liking. It's, oh gosh, pronunciation, La roche posay <laughs> um, Epiclar Duo. Meant to help sort of pores and just, yeah, skin that's been marked by acne like mine. Then for my hair, I'm starting to use some Nioxin stuff as well that my hairdresser recommended, so I'll let you know how I get on with that. There's some random ingrown hair removal stuff if needed. Rob seems to get that on his arms and things. Right, over on more like Rob's side, he has some L'Oreal skin stuff he never uses, hydro energetic. Here's trimmer thing, we've got some flossy things there. Then up here he's just got some random bits which he never uses. Then at the top here we've got my Oral-B toothbrush which I absolutely love, it's the Genius 9000 or something. Not very sure, I'll pop a link here in Chester, but it's a good toothbrush. 
And then a whole pot again of nail polishes I never use with nail files and nail clippers. It's just good for the kids. Now let's have a quick look in these boxes. So in here is just some additional skincare stuff. It's kind of where I keep all my masks. This is a nice little face wash, a bit drying though, so that's why I don't use them all the time. Then we have an Aldi face mask, a Glam Glow face mask, Aesop, Aesop face mask, a Glossier face mask. I've got two Glossier face masks. Moon mask and Galaxy Greens, both gorgeous. Sanctuary charcoal detox thermal mask. That's really nice as well. Another Glam Glow one, very tingly. Yeah, and these are just some random bits. That's some muslin cloth, some toothbrush charger. Um, that was really good. It's empty. I need to take it back. That's the same. And a little food mask, which I think I'm not sure where that came from actually. And some coconut oil that I got sent. And in here, what a mess! Is mainly extra toothbrush stuff. But I also have this. Margaret Dabs, um, I went for a pedicure there once, amazing in London, and it's their foot hygiene cream, really nice stuff. And yeah, like I said, mainly just toothbrush accessories, we've got some like dental things there from Primark, uh, what's that? Oh, that's a couple, saline nose spray, wonderful. Extra toothbrushes, this is a water flosser, which I love, I do use that a lot. Um, extra razor head, oh, my favourite knit combs <laughs> and a grout pen this is kind of a very very messy basket isn't it what's this oh yeah i tried that with lacan once the sleepy lush stuff didn't work but it's not great and last but not least i have a little storage thing in here so i thought i'd show you in here as well this is quite new oh tampons and pads lovely stuff then in here it's sort of more just additional things additional soap additional shower gel but then some random bits that i just don't know where to put so like cream for the kids and that's more additional stuff, toothpaste and shampoo, I think it is. And what's in here? Oh, more additional kid stuff, some more shampoo, lots of shampoo. And that's it, thank you so much for watching. Doing that's actually made me realise I probably need to have a clear out, so might be doing a video on that in the near future. But thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, I'm off back to work and I'll see you soon, bye!